In an accused shooter facing a judge days after a roadside confrontation, one driver now charged, the second driver critically hurt. WPTV's Todd Wilson actually spoke with the mother of the man shot. He joins us live now outside the Palm Beach County Jail with what we're learning. Todd. That is right. The Boynton Beach Police Department says this situation is all about road rage. Now, 55-year-old Bradley Sosnowski says that Thomas at Van Antwerp tried to punch him just before he shot him. But police say video doesn't support that claim. Bradley Sosnowski appeared in court early Friday with his lawyer at his side. Sosnowski, a former DEA agent, is charged with aggravated battery with a firearm. According to a police report, Sosnowski and Thomas Van Antwerp nearly collided along Boynton Beach Boulevard Wednesday. When they stopped at a stoplight at Congress Avenue, the police report states Van Antwerp approached Sosnowski's car. Sosnowski is accused of shooting Van Antwerp in the chest in that confrontation. In fact, Sosnowski called 911 to let authorities know what happened. This afternoon, I spoke with Van Antwerp's mother as she was heading to see her son. I'm going to go up there because he's going, uh, he's, he's doing okay. Van Antwerp was critically injured in the shooting. His mom says her son's fate is in the hands of God. I'm a believer in God, and whatever happens to be, I will accept. It may not be his will. It might be the evil one's will. That's all I can tell you. Well, in the arrest report, it also states that video from a red light camera to also a nearby business that had a camera didn't show that Van Antwerp tried to punch Sosnowski. But it also went on to say that Van Antwerp did not have a weapon at the time of this situation. In Palm Beach County, Todd Wilson, WPTV News Channel 5.